Um, really appreciate your time in number one, I think like helping yourselves as coaches, but number two, um, helping your players that you coach. So I think it's really important that uh, the time that you put into to upskill yourself as a coach has a direct impact and reflect on helping your players become better players. And I think that's the number one thing that I think about when I coach is like, I just want to help my players get better. It's not necessarily about me and what I want to get out of it. It's how can I be a better coach to help my players become better? Because at the end of the day, we want them to succeed um, in their goals and pursuits as like players versus ourselves. And that's how I, like, I think about it. I've just been fortunate enough that basketball has been a job for me and I've been like really lucky in that regard and super lucky that I get to coach some really good players, which make me kind of like look good at the same time, which kind of helps. Um, so this morning, um, we've broken it down into two sections. So one is an offensive section, transition offense, and then the next part will be transition defense. So what I wanted to try and do is be able to give you some drills as well as just the teaching of the whole part of transition offense. So the first uh, two or three things we'll do is we'll put in some transition offense drills that you can like run as part of drills for practice. And then we'll break down what the end part looks like of transition offense. Now, I know some of you coach from probably under 12s up to whatever age group. Um, there might be some things that might be good for your group. There might be some things that you can't use and like, that's okay. Okay, so you need to adjust whatever we put in today that's gonna suit your one, your coaching style, and two, who you're actually like coaching, okay? So girls, we're ready to go. Okay, so let's, um, let's start down, actually, I'm getting confused. Let's start down the baseline, like here. Uh, let's get uh, two basketballs to start, and let's get half the group down the other end, and half the group here. Uh, yeah, keep one basketball down there, and keep one basketball here. Okay, the person with a basketball come right here at the elbow and another person out on the lane line and everyone else on the foul line extended outside, okay? Person with the ball on the elbow, a person on the wing, everyone else foul line extended, okay? So we'll walk through this drill. You're facing that basket, you're facing that basket, okay? So girls go right to the sideline, okay? So now you will make a pass, either bounce pass, but you're the layup person, okay? So you'll make a pass out to here. Same thing, you'll pass to your partner. Now the layup person, as soon as you get the layup, you go to the end of the line, okay? So you'll lay it up right down there. The passer becomes the rebounder, okay? So the person that lays it up joins the end of the line. Now, this is the outlet line. So the rebounder now outlets. The outlet person has got to get the ball to the middle of the floor. Outside person has got to run outside, so the next person that rebounded it, you're on the outside. So now you dribble middle, you make a pass, layup person joins the end of the line, rebound person, outlet, and then get the ball to the middle, run hard to the out line, layup, good, outlet, person who outlets, run hard, sideline, get the ball to the middle, push, Good, outlet, go. So push middle, no, the outlet, push middle. You're the, you're the layout person out there, you're the layout person. Good, take it slow, rebounder, outlet, and go. All right, hold up there. So do we have that? We are, we're ready for that. Okay, so what are some key components, girls, in the drill? What's the number one thing we have to do in transition offense? Get, get open, yeah. What's the number one thing, transition offense? What does transition mean? Fast, sprinting, okay, not walking. So you lay it up, you've got an outlet, you've got a sprint, person in the middle pushing the ball. You should get from the outlet line to just about the foul line and three dribbles. So we've got to push the ball, okay? So we're going to go for one minute. Your goal in one minute is to try and make 20 layups. It's gonna to be tough. So that means everyone has to sprint and 20 layups in a minute means you probably can't miss a layup. Okay, so starting on the other side, we're gonna start at 36-0-0. Ready and go. And it scores, go quick, here we go. Two, go, 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 go. Sprint, sprint, attack. 
Go. Keep your score. Go, go, go. Four, go. Outlet sprint. Outlet sprint. Go, go. Go. Push it, push it, push it. Good passes, good outlets. Good pass, good outlet. Go. Four, three, two, one, that's time. So how many layups did we miss? Oh. Two, Saturday's not a good maths day. I think I, I counted more than two maybe. Who, mi who missed a layup? Put your hand up. Up high. It's okay that you missed a layup, it's okay. One, who else missed a layup? Only two? I think I counted more maybe. Maybe not, okay. So. So for coaches, some things in this is running, passing, making layups, okay? And I think that's the most important thing. We're going in transition. One, you need to be able to push the ball. Secondly, you need to be able to make good passes. The first one on the layup down here, we had a turnover, the ball went out of bounds, okay? Trying to make 20 is really difficult, okay? Unless you push the ball, make good passes and make layups, okay? So now we're going to switch sides, okay? So change sides, outlet lines are on the other side. This time it's going to be harder, left hand layups. So we're going to go for one minute. Okay, everything's got to be a left hand layup, outlet. Okay, you'll pass to that side. Yep, you'll pass to there. You'll pass to there, you go on that basket right there. So we're going at 45, ready and go. Push it now, go, outlet sprint, outlet sprint. Get the ball to the middle. Two, three hard dribbles, good passes. Make layups, go, 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 go. Keep your score. Go, push, push. Excellent, go. Good work. Keep going, good job, go. For 15 seconds, go. Good push, good, nice speed, good speed. Time, 15, 15, that's much better. How many missed layups do we have? Zero, maybe one, maybe one, that's good. Only one, excellent. So in all of this is like doing this drill is obviously you can have different layups, layups off two feet, reverse layups, they can stop at the elbow and shoot. So you can change the drill how you want. A couple of key teaching points obviously in transition is number one is pushing the ball. You wanna get out and push, okay? So how you build that up by limiting the amount of dribbles that they gotta get from end to end putting time and score on the clock, so they've got to try and get that. Now, 20 probably is not achievable for like juniors, but you want to make it hard so that they get the thing of running and pushing and they're doing stuff like at speed. Okay, everyone down on the baseline here now. All right, so we're going to get, uh, the ball starts in the middle line. Let's get me two lines, foul line extended out in the sideline. So two lines, foul line extended. Okay, so now I got your spot for a second. So here we're gonna tap it off the backboard. As soon as it hits the backboard, two lines are running. Okay, two lines are running. Now I'm gonna outlet to the left line. Okay, so I take one bounce. So as soon as I get it, I'm turning, I take a hard pass. Now you have one dribble. Okay, so you wanna get the outlet here. I wanna be able to catch it and I don't want to make a long cross-court pass, I want to get a short one, so I'm taking one hard dribble to the middle of the floor, and it's got to be a hard chest pass, okay? You're running the middle, okay? So as soon as I make the pass, I'm running to the middle. You make that pass, the other two, if they miss the layup, 
we have to put it in. We have to get a mislayup. If you make the layup, then it's done. Wait on the baseline. Okay? So you've got, what do you have to do first? Backboard. Catch it, catch it, turn, pivot. You got the first catch. What do you need to do? One hard dribble and push it out. You're sprinting hard, stay wide. You got the layup. Okay? Yeah, we need, need another line down here. So we've got three groups going. So we should have another. Yep. So grab a basketball, grab a basketball. You wait down that end. Yep. So ready? Here we go. So tap it. Good. Hard outlet. Hard outlet. One bounce. Good. Good. Stay down there. Here we go. Hard outlet. Part of doing is now listening. Okay. So we're going left side outlet. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Hard outlet. Hard outlet. Good. One bounce. Kick. Good, next group. Hard outlet. You can wait down here and then just go down, yep. Good, ready, bring it back. Outlet, that way now. So the opposite person gets the layup. Ready, here we go. Run, run, run. One dribble, one dribble, kick. Everyone get inside. Nice, get it, finish it. Good. Rebound, good. Go, next group. Nice, good. So what we're trying to get here is obviously running hard and it's with a pass now in transition and get them to kick it ahead. What we're trying to do also is by getting them to run hard and rebound on the missed shot is they're not just gonna pass the ball and then just stand and go, look, I've made a good pass and now I'm gonna walk up the court. It's about chasing and filling and getting in behind. Ready, same again, opposite side. Good, Elliot, good, good, nice pass. Excellent, good, next group. Good outlet, good talk, girls. Good talk. Nice, good outlet, good. And just run down. Nice, good work. Last one on the way back, here we go. Good. Nice, excellent job. Good, make the layup. Nice. So now we're going to change it up. Now the middle person. So we talk about coaches, we always want a, a rim presence. So we're always wanting somebody to run to the point of the rim. So now we change the drill that now I'll rebound it, I'll outlet it. Okay, so you're, who's in? You're in. You're in. So I outlet it now. You take one hard dribble, but now you've got to catch it outside the three-point line. Okay, so you catch it. I'm filling the middle lane. Okay, so now I'm filling the middle. You've got to wait. You've got to be on your front foot, pivot foot, and wait. I'm filling the middle. Now you pass it back to me, and I got the layup. You two both need to get inside the keyway. If I miss it, you've got to rebound it and put it back in. Okay, so it's a hard run to the middle. So you've made the outlet. Kick ahead's gone. You haven't been able to get a layup. Good defense has stopped you. Run hard to the middle. You've got the layup down there. Okay, ready? Here we go. Good, catch it outside the three. Good, run hard middle, good. Next group. Go. Good, sprint, 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 sprint. Good. Good, nice job. Hello, rebound it, put it back in. That's okay. Run the middle. Good, same in the way back. Here we go. Middle person gets the layup. Middle person on the layup. Good, rebound, finish, finish. Next group. Nice, good work. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Now, this time, why, why do I want you to catch it outside the three point line? Because if I've caught it here in a good defender, I've gotta be able to like wait and see that person coming. Okay, so I may not necessarily have like a quick drive. So I wanna be able to play on my front foot, wait and see, wait for that person to come. Okay, so if you, haven't got, if you catch it early, wait, pivot, move the ball, fake it, and then feed it. This time now the middle person, you're gonna rim run, okay, but you haven't been able to get a rim run, so you've gotta to go to the low block and post up. Okay, so if you're running to the other end, the ball's come, I've rim run to the point of the rim, now I'm just gonna get my feet outside the block, now you hit me and make a post move. Okay, got that? Ready, here we go. 
Good, push. Good, catch it, pivot, rim run, post up. Good, go to work. There we go. Outlet. Outlet. Good, kick, rim run. Good, post up. Nice. Good, stay wide, stay wide. Rebound, rebounders. Last group, they go to score. You walked off the court. Your job is to get on the rebound and get on the glass. Here we go, last set back. Good, wait till she gets there, nice. Good work, girls. Here we go, next group. Run middle, run middle. Wait, post, good. Now go, nice work. Post up, good. Okay, excellent job. Everyone to halfway, everyone to halfway. So that's just some transition drills you can use to get going. Like one, it's like playing with speed, playing with passing and then laying it up. So now we'll transition into starting to break down what you wanna do at the end of transition. Cause obviously the first part is everyone wants to get a layup is what can happen after that. So I'm gonna get, uh, get a line to the outside, a line to the middle and another line to the outside here. All right, so the, the middle line will have the basketball, okay? So now you gotta take a dribble on the spot, okay? You take a dribble on the spot, so you're all right halfway. Your job is sprint to foul line extended, okay? When she takes a dribble, sprint to foul line extended. Okay, so you go now. So now you can pass to either one. So you take your dribble, now you've gotta like make a pass, okay? So now you rim run right to the point of the rim. So you get there, so my hand is up. I'm trying to get this pass. I don't want to be running here. I want hand up. I want the ball here so I can catch it and lay it up. Now we're going to go to the block on the ball side here. Okay. So now as soon as this happens, one or two things. So you get the ball here. You're back to the basket. Nice wide low stance. Elbows up. You need to make a move. Okay. Why you want to take your defender away from where they can double team or dig on the ball. Okay. So your option is to cut over the middle or to cut baseline. So you see her cut, you have to fill Why to create a short pass, okay? So she cuts, you need to come in case we need a kick out pass. So you can cut high and you wanna cut high through the elbow, okay, to take your defender away, or you wanna cut low. And if you cut low, you wanna cut just on the edge of the backboard, okay? Because now if they make a dump pass right here, there'll be a bounce one, a handoff, bounce pass. I can go straight on the rim and lay it up, okay? If I go too deep, I'll be behind the backboard, okay? So as soon as your pass goes in, you cut, you have to sprint and fill, okay? Now you can either make a move or you can throw it out to any player and if she throws it out to you or you, you gotta make a layup, you gotta drive, okay? We got that, so give me a demo of that. So we're gonna go post entry out of transition. So take a bounce, sprint, Kick ahead, rim run, hand, post up. Good, hard cutters. Good, catch, go. Good. Yep, you just pop out. Ready, next group. Here we go. Kick ahead, good, wait. Post up, hard cut, sprint, sprint, sprint. Good, catch, attack. Good, rebounders, excellent job. Next group. Good, hard cut. Fill, 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 good. Catch, attack, good, fill, nice, excellent. Next group. Post, cutters, fill, attack, rebounders. Put it back in, put it back in. So this is like game-like, you get an offensive rebound, go back up, put it back in. Post, cut, good, fill, excellent, attack. Nice. Let's go, two more, two more. Good. Last one. Hit wing, post up. Cutters, fill. Excellent, that's all right, put it in, put it in, that's okay. All right, back to the start. All right, ball's in middle line. So now, ball in middle line again, You'll take a dribble. So this time now we're not like rim running. Okay, so hit, sprint, 
foul line extended, okay? So now you kick it, okay? So now some things, coaches. So you've kicked the ball ahead. Now, some things we want to do. There's a couple of things. If I pass, what's one thing you can do? We've just gone through rim run and post up. What's one thing you can do? Oh, we just did that one. What's something else? Yep, you could go set an on-ball screen. So that's one. Okay, come back again. What else could you do? Where, there, where is there space on the floor to go to? Other than just right to the basket. To there? So you could pass and sprint to the ball side corner. So I could cut and I could fill out ball side corner. Yep, so one thing is set a screen. Second thing is run and get out to ball side corner. Where else is there space on the floor to get to? If there's that corner, where is there space? Opposite, yeah. So I'd rim run and go to the opposite corner. What else could I do? Now it's hard putting you under pressure on a Saturday and it's not even school day. So you set a screen there. Where else could you screen? Away. Yep. So you've got multiple things I can do. So if I'm here, I can, I can kick the ball ahead. Wait, screen. So I can come set a ball screen. Yep, and then we can play. I can pass it from up here. I can pass. I can rim run. No, fill in corner. Okay, and then you dribble out to create space. Okay, I could pass, rim run, fill out opposite. What would I, you do if I came opposite now? Fill a little bit in behind, okay? Other thing, I can pass, I can cut, wait, screen away. Now we can play off this. One can cut to the basket, one can roll, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do to make it easy, let's go back to the start, so hit it, kick it, good. All right there, now you're gonna rim run and go out to the ball side corner, okay? So now is where there is space for you to drive. Straight to the basket, so you wanna come through the elbow, okay, and so now we're gonna fill in like coaches getting to receive a spot out of penetration. You're gonna try and go through the elbow now, okay? Now, if your player is out here and turn their head to goes to help or to look, so you're driving, where would you get to? Right to the corner. So now you're gonna fill it out. So you can either shoot it or drive it, okay? Whatever you want. So let's go back to the start. So we're hard cut to the basket, attack the middle, fill to the corner, kick out, shot or layup. Ready, here we go. Hard cut, hard cut, hard cut. Fill out, fill out. Good, shot or layup. Rebounders, 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 put it in. Good, put it in. Put it in. Good, next group, here we go. Same thing. Ah, uh, go back, go back, go back. What is, what is that right there? What is that right there? What happened? What happened? Turnover, so we don't want turnovers. So hard dribble, hard pass. What else can be better, girls? What else can be better? Talk. So you can call, cutting to the corner, filling to the corner, okay? So we've got to be able to like talk to each other because right now we don't have these, do we? We can't text each other. I'm getting to the corner. Uh, I'm driving middle. We can't, yeah. I've stolen all forms of communication and makes it hard, doesn't it? Yep. So just think that you're messaging on your phone. All right, that'll make it easier. All right, here we go. Attack. Good, talk, talk, talk. Good, good. Nice, nice. Rebounders, rebounders, rebounders. Good, good, good. Good, next group, quick. Good, excellent, go. Nice, good, next group, go, good job. Good, excellent. Rebounders, rebounders, chase the rebounders, all right, chase the rebound. Now, hold there, hold there. So now we ask the other two to rebound. I know you're running away to the back of the line because you shot an air ball, it's okay. Like, it's okay, it's okay, all right, it's fine. But what I'm not fine with is this was it. What can you do? Chase the rebound. All right, get back in defensive transition. 
we're, gonna, we're not going to be perfect. All right? We've all missed layups in our lives. We've all missed shots. We're all going to turn it over. But it's your reaction to what you do next is going to be a direct impact on the game. All right? We can't sulk. We can't give up. All right? Everyone's going to miss a shot. Everyone's going to turn over the ball. Okay? So now this time, hard pound. Okay? Kick it. Now you're going to hard basket cut. Okay? Now you're going to fill out opposite. So you're going to call opposite. Exactly. Now you're going to kick it here. There. You're going to make an extra pass to the corner. You're going to drive baseline. Now, where are the spots on the floor when we drive baseline offensively? Where do we need to fill? Behind? Yep. So you're going to take two hard dribbles, you fill them behind. Where would you get to? So if right now I'm your player and I go to look like this, where do you want to get to? Down there. So you want to get to the corner. Okay. So you're going to drive baseline. Now, your choice is layup kick it out to the corner. Okay, let's give me a demonstration of that. So now we're going to fill out opposite. Reverse the ball, penetrate. So kick it, hard cut. Good, fill out opposite, kick, kick. Good, drive, good. Nice, rebounders, rebounders, rebounders. Now what did we both do? It's like, looked, it's like, yep, she's going to make the layup, she may miss it. So get in and rebound. Next group, go. Hard attack, good. Fill, fill, fill. Ball reversal, good. Attack, good. Wrap, good. Shot or layup, good. Rebound, rebound, rebound. It's all right, let's go. Hard cut, good. Fill, good. Kick it, attack it. Nice, nice. Shoot it, rebounders, rebounders, good. Two more, here we go. Hard cut. Oh, no, no, what are we doing? Yeah, she's not open, so we're going to fill out opposite. Go again from the start. Go again from the start. Here we go. Attack. Kick. Hard cut. So this is, the, this is the deal. I know it's Saturday. Yep, I get it. It's hard. But then when you're sitting out of the drill, you need to see what's happening in front. So you catch it. You reverse it, she's cut through, you reverse it. Reverse, now you're driving, you're filling to the corner. Go back, do it again. Here we go girls, let's go. Good, hit, hard cuts, ball reversal, good. Now attack, good, kick out, rebounders, nice. Good, one more, here we go, last one. Finish it, finish layups, hard cut. Move the ball, move the ball, attack, nice. That's all right, rebound it, put it in, good. So the next one we're going to, sorry, the next one we're going to move on to, pound the ball, all right, wings, get deep. So kick ahead. Now we're not going to cut, we're going to go and set a screen away, okay? So we're going to do something for a teammate. So now off the screen away, what I want you to do, you want to come off now, you've got two reads off this. Okay, this way we're just going to make basketball reads. You can either curl and you're going to call curl. curl. If she curls, she's attacking the basket, you're going to come straight across the foul line. So you can either pass to the curl cutter or the straight cutter and it's a shot. Okay, got that? Come back again. So if you're going to curl, you're going to call curl. So go back in there. The other one is you're going to straight cut this time. So you call straight. If she calls straight, you're going to call basket because you're going to the basket, same thing. You can pass to either one, shoot it, rebound it, layup, okay? So the two decisions you have are what? Curl and straight, excellent. Here we go. So screen away. Good. Now, now, what's my only issue with that? What do you think, coaches? Yeah, harder pass, but what about communication out of here? What did she call? Curl. What did you say? Nothing. Nothing. No, you didn't say nothing because you did. All right. So everyone's got to talk. All right. If I'm saying curl, I got to call straight. If I'm saying straight, I'm calling basket. Ready? Here we go. Hard attack. Hard. Good screen. Good basket. Nice. Up. Oh. You're like, 
I pass the ball. I know you have, I know you have ultimate faith that your teammates are going to make a shot. It's really good that you've got confidence, but you need to do your... Once you pass, your next job is to do what? It might be rebound. It might be get back in defensive transition. Okay, here we go. Good, good, good. Next group, two more. Good, nice, nice, good job. Last one. Ah, oh, what's our problem there, both? Who, who texted who? Who texted who? Because there was silence, okay? Loud verbal. All right, here we go. Screen away. Hard cut. No, no, no. Who's going to call it? So you're going to make a read, okay? So it's your decision whether you're going to call curl or whether you're going to call straight, okay? So you have to call it. Here we go. Good. So you curl to the basket. Curl to the basket. Yep. So if you call curl, you're going to curl. Yep. Now you lay it up or we rebound it. All right. Uh, hold up. We will hold up. We will hold up. Good work. All right, moving on to the last one that we might do. We'll only do a couple of these. So come to the wing. Come to the wing. There. Now we're going to go set a ball screen. So you're going to tell her. So all of these things, getting back to our communication. If I'm going to go screen away, I'm going to go wait, screen. Same thing here. Wait, screen. See those two things. Wait. So tell her to wait with the ball and then screen to give her the action that she's going to come and do. Wait. So you're going to set a screen. So you're going to come off two hard dribbles. One, two. Why would we want two? To spread the floor and get separation. Okay. So now off this, you're going, to, you're going to roll to the basket. You're going to kick it there. You're going to make the pass in there to her on the layup. Yep. And then what are we going to do once she passes? Yes. Very good. Let's go. So wait and screen. Here we go. Good. Two hard dribbles. Kick. Good. Extra. Nice. Rebounders. Good. Next group. Go. Quick, quick. Nice. Good work. Good work. Go. Kick. Ah, uh, where do you want to keep? So you want to wait. So you catch it where you, that's okay. You catch it where you're going to catch it. Now I'm defending you here and her defender's going to be right here. That's hard to make a pass. So you want to catch it so you can shoot it. You've got space to drive it, but it's also she's got space to cut into. Okay, go back to that again. So spacing is important. Keep our spacing on the perimeter. There, screen, good. Hit, pass, good. Next, next group, next group. Good. Good. One more. Here we go. Kick. Good. All right. So now, girls, take that right the way back to three-quarter court. So the ball in the line is going to start at the foul line. Okay. Now, we've got any of those options, coaches. So they can kick ahead, corner. Corner fill opposite, screen away, on ball screen, okay? So now you're going to take a bounce on the spot. As soon as she takes a bounce, you two are sprinting, okay? And then you're pushing it ahead. So once I take a, a bounce on the spot, that keys you both to kick and sprint ahead. Then I've got one push out dribble and you're going to catch it outside the three. Now I can pass to either side, okay? So it doesn't have to be always right side. So now once I kick that ahead, I've got to tell everybody what I'm going to do. Okay, if I say basket, I'm cutting to the basket. Then you can determine whether you want to fill ball side or out. Okay, it's going to be your decision. Or you can say, wait, screen away. That means you've got to wait because I'm coming to screen for you. Wait, ball screen. I'm going to set a ball screen. Okay, so we're just going to make decisions on the fly without any defense. Okay, ready? You've got to sprint now, then one bounce kick ahead. Go! Good. Good, good, good. Rebounders, 
Rebounders, excellent, good job. Here we go, 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 go. Hatch, good, good talk, good talk. Nice, girls, good work, good work. Here we go. Ah, uh, all right, go. Next group. Good. Here we go. Cut hard. Be ready to catch the ball. Next one. Good. Did you call your cut? So it's got to be loud, okay? The talk's got to be loud so the passer knows because the passer might drive as you're coming to screen, okay? So you're to call screen or cut. Last one. Last one. Go. Nice work. Up, oh, go back, go again. Can't have turnovers. Either hard chest pass or one hard bounce pass. Ready? Here we go. Good. Nice. Excellent. Okay, here we go. So now let's get me uh, bring the ball here. Bring an outlet line there, another line right here without a ball, and another line on the sideline. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, so coaches, how to build this up, I guess from the drill stuff into three on zero, now build it up to four on zero. And I guess today, like I won't get to pick and roll, but I would in essence stay away from that stuff until they actually like pass, dribble, shoot, cut, set screens away before you get to any skill stuff of using like pick and roll, okay? So now what we're gonna do is break the court the half court into four quadrants. So the, the line down the middle, the split line or this white line separates both halves of the court, yep. And then there's a line, the foul line separates across the court, okay? So you've got an area that goes foul line across here is one quadrant. You've got another quadrant there. You've got a quadrant that goes from foul line down to the baseline in that corner and opposite, okay? So each four of you players have to be in a quadrant. Okay, so now you're gonna take a dribble, all right? So that means the two outside lines have gotta get foul line extended below to be in your quadrant. So you'll sprint down to be in your quadrants, okay? Sprint, sprint. You'll come into your high quadrant, okay? So now as soon as you enter the ball, you can pass it anywhere or dribble it anyway. Okay, so it's your choice. So say if you pass to somebody, what are you gonna do? What's some actions we can do now? Basket cut, yep. So now, Whose quadrant is she, hold up, whose quadrant is she in? Yours? So you need to fill out of yours so she replaces. What do you wanna do? Drive or pass? Who do you wanna to pass to? Yep, and now what are you gonna do? Cut, all right, now whose quadrant has she come into? Yours, so you've gotta replace that. What do you wanna do? Pass, ah, uh, hold there, yep. You do exactly that now, exactly. Now on pick and roll, you obviously don't want to just dribble to a quadrant because you want to score, yep. So if you drive in here to score, that's okay. Drive to score, drive to score, drive, 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 drive. Now hold, now who are you going to pass to? Uh, Amber. Amber, you, you pass to Amber. Now exactly, you have to fill and find the quadrant. You have to fill and, yeah, you got to find the spare one. So do we understand? So there's things that you can do. You can dribble to score, you can dribble to score, a dribble to score, but also pass. Or you can screen away, or you can on-ball screen. So there's lots of things you can do. All four of these quadrants have to be filled once one's vacated. That's all we need to do. So we got that? All right, let's go back at the start. So right now, girls, every pass or a screen is one action, okay? You've got to get five actions before you can score. So on the fifth one, I'll call five, you can either shoot it, you can drive it and lay it up, you can drive it and kick it out, but that person's gotta shoot it. Okay? How many passes? Five. Excellent, here we go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Good, there's one, two, three. Uh, go back, that's all right, that's okay. So go back to the ball screen. And now this is, this is the thing, coaches, that when we talk about ball screens, they take a lot of time to be able to drill 
be able to get good, very good skilled at, and this is like a thing, and I know we're going fast today, but this is our problem is, what are you trying to do when you come off a screen or any kind of screen or while you have the ball in your hands? Oh, drive. drive, so what did you do? So now my defender stays here, her defender stays there, and there's no separation, okay? So if you use this screen, I've got to drive to score, but it's also if I don't have it, where's the next quadrant for me to fill? That one. That one. So if I drive to score, I've got to now keep the ball in this quadrant, and I might just pass and cut and fill again, okay? And that's fine. That's fine. Go back. Go, go again. Go again. Just use two dribbles to get separation off the ball screen. Here we go. Good. Field. Two. Good. Three. Four. Field, field, field. So what do we have there? Three people on that side. So once she fills out of a quadrant, if you're the next player, you've got to get across. Okay, go back, go again. It's okay. We're learning how to do it. It's fine. You're going to see what's in front of you. Remember, all four quadrants need to be filled. Here we go. Good. Wait, wait. Good. Fill. Two. That's it. Three. Four. Five. That's okay. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Good. All right, that same group, keep the basketball. That same group, keep the basketball. Let's get me three people from up the top come in on the defense. So a way for this coaches, and it is like, it's hard. We do this, I used to do this with like the Caps girls too, is it's harder because there's no defense. So they're not sure where they should be like going to. So the way to do some of these drills when you're going um, say three on zero, four on zero, is then put defense in there. But you want the offense to have some success. So with three on zero, do that for a couple of possessions, put two defense in. So then they need, all they need to do is then find the open man. You don't have to like, you can have limited passes, whatever you want to do. When we do it four on zero, we do it four on zero, then it's four against three. So all they need to do is find the open person. So now there's going to be no pass limit, okay? All you need to do is state your four quadrants, same thing, you can pass, you can cut, you can on-ball screen, you can screen away. You just find the open person to get a shot, or a layup or coming off a screen to score. Okay? You three just have to scramble and do your best job. Good luck. All right? Here we go. Attack to score. What do you have right away? Who's open? So what should you do? Drive it or shoot it? Yep. Go back, go again. And this is the thing they stand there now because like they're wide open. I've got to pass it is like look to score. Here you go. Attack, attack. Rebound it, rebound it, good. Good, offense go again, offense go again, defense stays. So if you're open on a shot, what do you need to do? Shoot it. If you're open on a screen, on a pick and roll, and you come off, what should you look to do? Score. If you pass it, what do you need to do? Cut, and then, ready, here we go. Good, rebounders, 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 nice. Go again, go again. Three, two, one, attack, attack, attack. Oh, there we go, turnover. So this is, yeah, either shoot it, or if you're gonna cut, you're gonna say cut. But right now, go back exactly that to where we had the ball and the turnover. You were right. So right now, and it's okay, so coaches, like they get a bit like nervy about I'm standing here, I've, I've got to do something. Sometimes just being a spacer is a good thing, okay? And I know there's, a t there's an appropriate time for cutting, but the appropriate time for cutting is when I'm here and I turn my head and my player's looking at the ball, okay? So right now, she was sitting in here, you stay. Because right now, on the flight time of the ball, one, if she doesn't come, you've got a shot, okay? Secondly, the hardest thing that nobody does anymore or teaches very well is closeouts. She comes to close you out, you throw a shot fake, then you've got a, like a layup, okay, versus the turnover. And my only other thing would be is like she's got the ball there, 
All right, she's got the ball there. If you're going to back cut, you've got to tell her. You've got to have either a visual or a verbal to say, I'm back cutting. Okay, change it over, get another group on offense, and then we're done. Uh, that group of four that were on offense, give me three defenders. You don't get to run to the end of the line, you get to play some defense now. Ready? Here we go. Good. Good defense, good defense. Were you open? I think you were probably open three times in that possession, okay? And here's another thing coaches too, is they'll think that they're off the ball, so they'll play like this. Okay, so I'm not ready, really ready to shoot, am I like this? Okay, so while I'm there, take the ball back up to over there, okay? I'm sitting here, because if I get a skip pass, I'm ready to shoot it, but if the ball comes, ball reverse, I'm here. So I don't have to go from here to here. Oh, I might be open now, I've got to get in my stance and go. So when we're off the ball, we're ready. We're ready just to be able to catch and shoot, or go a shot fake, or put it on the floor and be quick. All right, you got one last possession, that group. Go, go, go. <coughs> Good, nice. Rebound it, rebound it. Good. Let's change over, get some of those subs in. We'll do one more so everyone gets a go. Uh, three, three that were on offense. Someone has to go in on D. So any of the three that were just on offense? Ready, last set. So now, girls, everything has got to be done with speed and pace. So this is like we are coming out of transition. So I know we're putting coaches, we put this in the half court to be able to slow it down, but we need to be able to play with pace. So if you're gonna shoot it, shoot it. If you're gonna drive it, one, two hard dribbles, you're into the rim. If you're not gonna shoot it, you need to pass it with a hard crisp snap pass. All right, ready? Go, 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 go. Attack to score, pass to score. Good, screen or cut. Good. Keep going, keep going. Nice, good. Good, good job. Good job, girls. Uh, let's just set me up here. So the four quadrants. Uh, the first group that was in on offense. The first group that was in on offense, the four. Okay. No, no defense, no defense. Okay. So the last one being is just how... Uh, let's come and jump in. Come and jump in. Okay. I just wanted to see how fast you're going to run and transition. Yep. So now what we do, coaches, like you want to put it in like five on five, just add the low post in. Okay, so you want to play four out. You've got a post player. We always want like back to the basket and we need big players in our game. So you can obviously pass it to the post from here. You might pass it to the corner person. They might feed. So if you say you pass it to the corner, okay, you feed the post. What is your next thing you need to do? Cut, okay? What can you, what's two things you can do? Obviously, number one, you could fill and replace. What else could you do? Cut, what else? Screen away. Okay, so you've got three things you can do. She's left her quadrant, you move, okay? She's left, I can like cut, and then if I cut, you would fill mine. I might see her cut, and I might just automatically screen away. So she goes to mine, I can space, I might cut again, okay? So I'm gonna give you one possession, five on zero, okay? Feed the post, and then you've got three passes before you can score. Once, once you get a pass, you can then kick it out to anybody. So it doesn't have to be here, it does stay there, yeah. Ready, here we go. So pass it, you've got three passes now, one. Go back, fumble, turnover, go again. Don't pass it to us straight away. Yep. Ready? Here we go. Pass. Hard cut. Hard cut. One, two, three. Look to score. Four. Good. Now, last thing before we move on and you get a rest. What happened to this? It died. It died. Yep. So we're going to go back and do it again. So if you're going to screen, call a screen. If you're going to cut, you're going to call your cut. Okay, here we go. Talk now. 
Good. One, two, three, four. Good. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Finish, finish, finish. Nice job, girls. Good work. Grab a quick drink. Good work, girls. So just building up to that, as I said, is like finding ways of number one is with it is like the transition stuff is sprinting. Um, limited dribbles and trying to get kick ahead passes as much as possible rather than put the ball like on the floor and have 50 dribbles before you get the next pass. And then how you separate that with keeping like the good spacing. Now, obviously in 12s and maybe to some extent under 14s is like kids can't shoot out here, but it's okay. Keep your spacing. You can always step into your shot or you've got space to be able to like drive and get to the basket. So I'm not advocating just stand out here and like shoot threes in under 12s or under 14s. If you've got players that can do it, like and they've got to learn to play outside, but it just gives you more space to be able to create your offense. One, for ball movement. Two, to be able to cut and screen away for spacing. Okay, and then obviously add in the post player at the end if you've got one. You may choose to play five out. You can like do that in numerous ways, but it's always good, I think, to have an inside presence, regardless whether it's big, small, and it teaches. The other thing is like guards cutting in to get like layups too. We think about, oh, just the bigs have to post up. Guards have to be able to cut and they get the ball and finish around the basket at the same time. It's just not for the bigs to be inside. Okay, so being able to teach passing, cutting, layup, finishing, um, being disciplined with your spacing. Um, but it's also, you can take that out of as we started out of transition and what do you do at the end if you don't have a layup? And I think that's how you kind of like build in some motion concepts and just play without having to run sets straight away. And I think it just gets their mind thinking about what can they do once they pass the ball. Because you saw a couple of times, pass goes and we just like stand. You can, it's okay to stand and be a spacer, but then there's gotta be another action that you go to. Any questions? Can be anything. When there's a lack of confidence in the players themselves, and we saw it there a bit, what's a way of getting the confidence back into them so that the drill becomes successful? I think one, making it a little lighthearted and have a little bit of a joke so that they take like, the pressure off. Um, and I think too, is just finding ways of success. That's why I do it like on zero, where they just feel comfortable doing those actions. And we went quick today, but just being able to do the actions over and over and over again and then put in, like as I said, then put in the defense that's odd numbered so that there's gonna be some success. So then they feel like there's some, they get some success about, oh, well, I get, I'm getting an open shot. I'm getting an open drive. I'm coming off a screen, I can score. But I think one is like, make a little bit like lighthearted as you do, like make a little bit of a joke that takes some of the stress and the pressure out and then just slowly add in odd numbered defense so that the offense gets some success at it. Yeah. But it comes back to like skill level too. Like that's the other thing too is like. Yeah, yeah, and get to the right spots. Yeah. And I think there's different forms and that's a great question. There's different forms of success. Success for me sometimes isn't the ball always going in the basket. It's how we've moved the ball, how we've spaced, how we found the right person. As I said, like you're gonna miss shots, but it, was it a wide open shot? Was it the right shot? Yeah. Was it a great layup? Yeah, you missed it. Not too bad, yeah, we're gonna miss like layups, but just get the best shot and understand what we're trying to do. Sometimes that can be success. Yeah, for sure. All right, anything else? All right, girls.